days. This is Claudia for We Don't Care at the Metal Days 2016. And now we have the pleasure of not talking Italian because probably the other guys wouldn't understand. Yes. But uh, still, my first question to you is, why are you looking so young? We just talked about this. Are, are you wearing makeup or not? Um, is there any cream special? No. No. Well, basically, I, I wash my, my, my skin with uh, volcanic water every day. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't even wear makeup on stage, actually. Okay. That's my natural skin. Yeah. So, and uh, is it true you all basically... Yeah. Yeah, do that in the band. It's well, like a ritual. Well, yeah, we're all very, very young. Uh, and, and I wanted to say thank yeah. you f to us for being young. Thank you. <laughs> you're very glad that you're yourself, right? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So to, a young myself, yeah, yeah. I mean, a young version of myself. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Inside and out. Yes, yes. Cool. And um, when you're on stage playing guitar, yeah. what is the feeling you have with all the guys that looking up to you? Is it like, you know, a bit of, I, I guess I like the fame? Or is it more you're into the music, really? No, well, actually... Uh, to be a little bit more serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm actually very timid. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like uh, that much the attention. I know, I know it's a paradox. No. It's an absolute no. paradox. It's okay. Because you know, playing in a band is not exactly the right job for somebody who doesn't like the attention, <laughs> especially if you play the lead guitars, right? Um, but it is like that. It's. Uh, I feel. Um, uh, it's weird because you feel part of something mm -hmm. when you're in a band. Yeah. And you are in a group of people. Yeah. That group You're of people becomes <laughs> an individual somehow, mm -hmm. as itself. Yeah. And you kind of lose your personality into it. Yeah. So that is fine. Actually, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's it's not putting yourself into the public attention, if you want to call it like that. Mm -hmm. Not like uh, an interview or so. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> mm. when the solo comes, uh, you suddenly realize you are out there, out there and you're playing that. So you know. It becomes a little bit weird. Okay, so does uh, like a stage persona or so help you to go through well, the solo that you yeah, are no, yourself playing? What, what I do, well, with Flash God, uh, it's easier from this point of view because we all, um, as we were saying, Before. wear makeup, makeup and uh, <laughs> and costumes, so we're not ourselves on stage, obviously, yeah. you know. So it's not exactly like if I walked out the door of my, my house and I had to play a solo in front of the, 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 the building, for <laughs> example. That wouldn't be okay for me. Um, but um, yeah, it, I think, you know, sometimes you get musicians that are actually, uh, they, they have big, really, really, really big ego. Mm -hmm. So they, that's how they get uh, away with the fact that they have to perform in front of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't consider myself being like that. Then mm -hmm. if, if I'm wrong, then, then there's a problem with me. But uh, <laughs> That's a different story, you know. But you enjoy it. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, I do enjoy it. <laughs> that was the question, right? <laughs> and um, with Flash God Apocalypse, now you have a new album, so yes. it's like you're asked about that a lot, I guess. Yeah. And uh, how did you go about writing the stuff in the first place? Um, For well, King, we should mention the name, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, um, usually what we do is uh, we start talking about. Um, what we're gonna write, how we're gonna write it, and especially what we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Because the first thing we come up with is the concept mm -hmm. of the album, because we always end up, um, you know, wanting to write concept albums. For us, it's very important to give it a, an identity to the album somehow. Mm -hmm. So you start from the beginning, you, you, you try to go through it all to the end, yeah. um, because we, we, we try to tell a story mm -hmm. with it. Um, Not just in one song, but in exactly, the yeah, album yeah. also. We, we like the, the opera uh, concept as an idea, mm -hmm. um, especially because, you know, mixing up uh, symphonic music uh, or classical music and uh, death metal for us means mm -hmm. also try to, to, to get back to our roots as Italian people, somehow, please, which means also um, classical music culture, which mm -hmm. is opera culture as well. And it's important yeah. somehow. Um, so with the concept albums, we kind of reach that uh, level of uh, storytelling mm -hmm. that otherwise would be very difficult to, to, to reach, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so going back to the question, actually, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we start talking about the concept and once we, we identify what we want to talk about, um, mm -hmm. 
the, the two Francescos, so Francesco Paoli and Francesco Ferrini, start um, uh, writing down the music mm -hmm. and uh, you know doing the, the the work in progress. Um, there will be obviously changes and uh, processes and blah, blah 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 blah. But we get to a point where we actually know what we're talking about and how mm -hmm. we're talking about it. So, uh, but the detail work is like all together. Well, um, let's say that comes. It depends on the moments. Um, mm -hmm. The music is uh, pretty much written by the two Francescos, um, but uh, into the process it comes also our, you know, perspective on, on the work. Mm -hmm. And um, when uh, it's it's a time to write lyrics, it really depends uh, on the, uh, different albums. We've been uh, uh, choosing different. Uh, set up to write it to, to write the lyrics on King for example Tommaso has been uh, doing a lot of the work and mm -hmm. um, always um, you know uh, with Paolo and uh, with Francesco as well and um, you know co cross uh, <laughs> working everything yeah. uh, but um, you know he wanted to to give to the story um, some kind of a um, perspective that he had in, in his mind and so that's how it came out so it's always a process of doing it together, writing it together, but at the end of the day, there's always like... It know, is It is very structured, but we are one of those bands where, where um, you know, we everybody has something to say some, mm -hmm. somehow, you know. We're not like, uh, absolutely, this is it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, never been like that, mm -hmm. even though um, the roles are very uh, specific, you know. So talking about the roles, mm -hmm. how do you like switch on and off a character or... Is yeah, there? mainly I would say. Yeah. Um, how, are you, how are you doing this? Uh, I don't know really. It's, uh, it's something that came at one point came out naturally somehow. Mm -hmm. I really uh, enjoy being on stage and uh, playing a character. As I told you, uh, if I if I had to go on stage as myself, I yeah. would be I would feel way more uncomfortable. So that's how mm -hmm. I work. Not necessarily the same for the other guys, but usually that's what we do. Um, and then obviously, if the show goes in a way or another, you change a little bit. Your, mm -hmm. your attitude towards it. Like for example, if the, if the crowd is amazingly good, then a little bit of yourself will come out for sure because mm -hmm. you're having fun and they can see it. Yeah. You know, which is a good thing, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But yeah, uh, sure. but not always it, it, it happens, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, not because you don't have fun, but because you are basically trying to, to, to give to the people something that you, you, you want to, to look in a certain way, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's also kind of a product. You really don't want to call it like that, yeah. but no, I mean, it is. I mean, it is. At the end yeah. of the day, it's like what we do is uh, musical and the visual um, and uh, theatrical, and uh, we try to, to, to tell stories, and uh, we 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 also try to uh, let people have some kind of an experience with, okay. with what we do because that's what we like, basically. And uh. A question that I'm personally interested in, always in my interviews, um, what makes somebody an artist? Is it like somebody else defines, yes, you are an artist, or is it uh, from I the things that I you're doing that defines you as an artist? I don't know, actually. I think that uh, being an artist would, it could, could um, be identified by uh, you deciding and being able to let yourself go into creativity mm -hmm. and uh, accept it somehow which is not necessarily uh, producing art mm -hmm. but it, I guess you can be an artist in other ways you know yeah, in, in what ways <laughs> well it's just being creative basically mm -hmm. um, and and giving to the outside of you something mm -hmm. that comes from from the inside somehow it's a, it's a process that, that brings out something from 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 what you have inside basically so you, it shapes it's shaped um, uh, by your uh, personality, for sure, your character, but it's not you, you know, mm -hmm. it's outside mm -hmm. of you. So you're still giving something from very deep inside yeah, of you, you when you you're on to. stage. Uh, well, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing you're doing that. Thank you very much for Thank the you. interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.